Shargit has the possibility to export everything from your list or library into an Excel file. From there, you can modify all the metadata that's on it to reflect whatever you want. So if you know um, that the there's like a link that you would go over 255 characters, you can actually go in Excel and modify it in order to have that metadata modified under that limit and then move it around. Like I'll give you an example here. I'm not going to be grabbing my whole library here. So I connected my 2016 environment to online. This logic would work for any source to destination as long as we're talking about content only. So I will, I'm going to be grabbing just two files for the execution here, um, but you could just select all if you wish. You could select just one folder, whatever you need. Um, and you have the export metadata button here. This is going to offer you the possibility, like a couple of modifications, if you wish. And what you're going to see here is going to be this. You're going to have an Excel file um, that is going to have the information from your source and destination path, but also all the different columns that you have in your destination library. So let's say that in your case, like you would have your column here that would be your your link here your link column it would be keywords and you can you would have your metadata in there you can just modify it to for instance and then you could have that value instead where it would actually add that url that definitely won't work um but people would know that the reason why it's the url is wrong is that it went over 250 key. 255 characters you could be a little bit more nice to your users and actually say link over 255 characters and of course this link is going to be pushed at destination not going to work but at least you'll know the issue is actually trying to identify those ahead of time because you're going to need to figure out the the in order to know which when that's going to happen which url correction is going to go over the top so what I would suggest when you're going to be doing your migration, if you go back here, you have the pre-check operation here. If you run, if you select all of this, let's say you had all your source and you run a pre-check, ShareGit is going to be validating all the different operations we would do, including the URL correction, and if they would go over 255 characters. So running the pre-check is going to give you the errors on which list items is going to be problematic. And in that case, you'll know which um, in the Excel file, which list item you need to modify the values on. Once everything is done, it's importing copy, and then it should be smooth sailing afterwards.